So, this is my water bottle. I won it at a festival a few years back. This is Bard on the front of it, because that's what I am, I'm a Bard. And I won it uh, winning a competition. So it's very near and dear to me, although you wouldn't know by looking at it. Because it is covered in scratches. I, you know, it's well loved. Um, but this past summer, I had a bit of an incident where I had it in my pocket and I was sitting in a hammock and the hammock broke and I landed on it. I'm going to experiment with something. I'm told this is made of metal so I'm going to, it's filled with water and I'm going to put it in the freezer and supposedly the water will expand when it, well, the water will expand when it freezes and it's going to push this dent out and restoring my bottle to its former glory. So let's go ahead and do that. Come on, Mr. Bottle. We're gonna go and get you in the fridge. Alright, here's the kitchen. Yes, blue hippopotamus. Here we go. Alright. Let's see what happens three hours from now or four hours from now. Alright, it's the next morning and I'm back at the fridge and let's see how the bottle's doing. There it is. I may have taken it out during the night just to check on it, but this is, I just woke up, so let's see. Well, you know what? It does look a little less dented on the small dents, but the big ass dent is still there. I don't think that worked. Alright, I'm going to try something else. So, clearly the water didn't work because, well, clearly the dent is still there. Although I still, still think it may have pushed out a couple of small minor dents, but anyway. The water, the freezing water didn't work. So, we're going to try another experiment. This time, I'm going to go with carbonated soda. Specifically, this is Pepsi. And the Pepsi's going to get sacrificed for science. But that's fine, because I'm not a huge fan of Pepsi. So, it's not a huge loss. So, theoretically, if you've ever frozen a can of Pepsi... Okay. <laughs> Alright, that'll be a mess to clean up. So, how are we doing? Theoretically, if you've ever frozen a can of Pepsi, or carbonated anything really, the bubbles expand. And if I fill this to the brim, there. This should, the bubbles will expand. And either what's going to happen, I don't think it'll shatter the thing because it's made of, the steel is quite strong. It might pop the top off of it, but it shouldn't, I don't think. And hopefully what it will do is push, oh, uh, there we go, oh, that's full, all right. It's going to push this dent out by freezing it. So, I'm going to put it in the freezer uh, overnight, and hopefully... Uh, we'll get some results in the morning. Now to clean up this mess. Okay, mess has been cleaned up. So now it's time to move this into the freezer. Hey Newton, look! Papa's trying science. It's Stand back! It's going to be dangerous. Alright. Here we are. I just went and did a little grocery shopping. I got some bread. And I'm going to nestle this right in there. There we go. So hopefully tomorrow this little dent will be pushed out or what might happen is the thing will pop, the top will pop off and I'll have Pepsi everywhere. Science! Alright, time to shut this puppy up. Okay, it's now the next day. Um, and it's about, as you can see, it's about 7 o'clock. I left the can in there uh, in the freezer overnight. Uh, and now we're going to see how it's doing. So here we are. Oh 
my god, it worked. The dent is out. In fact, it worked a little too well. <laughs> it pushed out everything. Look at that. Look at that. All the dents are out. All of them are out. There's the crease. That's where the crease used to be. It has been completely, completely pushed out. So there you go, folks. You have a metal. Although now, as you can see, it's not sitting flat anymore. But, you know, that's not a huge deal because I would have only... I usually put this in my pocket. I don't, you know, I don't put this down on a surface. But even then, it still sits pretty flat. It's okay. Maybe over time that'll... I mean, maybe I could smack this down a couple of times and then it'll, it'll flatten again, but still. But yeah, totally worked. Look at that. That is so cool. Science! It's science! Okay, I'm going to hand this off to my, my assistant, Ada. So I need you to record this every event. I'm going to make room for a very nice messy thing here. Hey, I did dishes today. Uh -huh. I just made more. Yeah. This washer is empty, but it's full of dirty dishes. Oh, they're probably not. <laughs> okay, so. I leaned on it. Oh, did you just turn it on with your bum? Yeah. Okay, so here it is, all together. It's been thawing out in the refrigerator all day. So I'm not sure what's going to happen when I take this, when I open this up. Maybe nothing. Woo! Okay, it didn't explode. It didn't explode. Good. I was expecting like, like a Mentos explosion or something. There we go. Look at that. Oh, it is not completely thought out yet. Still, there's still a hunk of Pepsi in there. So this is going to have to continue getting thought out. I know, I could put it in the microwave. Oh, look. The dent is actually starting to come back. Oh, dear. Just a little bit. Just a little bit, but it shouldn't. It shouldn't revert back completely. In fact, if I wanted to be like a complete ass about it, I could fill it up with Pepsi again, freeze it again, it would push out the last of them. But I'm not. Just don't waste a Pepsi. <laughs> this is this is the most useful use of Pepsi anyone's ever had because it's not causing any cavities and it's it's actually repairing something. <laughs> so, all right. So this is gonna thaw out, but basically, science. I get my bottle back, and now all of you can get your bottles back.